Baylor has hired Matt Rule as their new head coach, and this is actually a smart move. This is a guy who can rebuild this program, and whether people want to continue to live in fantasy land or not, Baylor has to rebuild. They have to clean house. They only have one commitment for the 2017 class that'll likely change you know we got the dead period coming up here pretty soon in just a few days so Matt Rule and his uh whenever he gets his staff together are gonna go quickly go out there and start recruiting he's probably already started recruiting his first step is obviously obviously trying to get uh whatever Temple recruits he had and see if they could switch and flip their commitments to Baylor now despite all the smoke in Waco and all the the you know fusion what what's going to happen rule believes this is the best place for him now it's hard to, against uh, to argue against him you know with temple while you can look at baylor and temple and, and kind of see it as a lateral move right now you look at temple's not joining the acc or the big 10 anytime soon baylor already a power five program and if you look at both schools they're really kind of in the same boat just one's in a power five conference and one's not you know, Baylor, yes, has had some recent success, but all of it kind of just goes away knowing how they started 6-0, and 0 and 6 and it kind of leads into uh, something that they're just going to have trouble. It's, it's, they're not automatically going to win 8-10 games next season just because Rule's in there, a good coach, but it, it's going to take a lot. A whole new staff and, uh, and just what's going to happen with recruiting, what happens with the players now, do they still have the depth? who's leaving towards the NFL. Uh, so a lot of things are going to have to happen. Now, during his time at Temple, Matt Rule was 28-23 and 23 in his last, uh, including his last two years of having 10 win seasons. Uh, his first two years at Temple, 2-10, and 10, and then bumped that up to 6-6, six and six, and then finally the two 10, uh, 10 win seasons. Now, this looks to be somewhat familiar for the Bears. You know, they, they, they might, I'm not saying they'll, they'll win just two games next year. You know, but four, five, six might be where they're at next year and then see where he can build off of that. It's going to take a few years for Baylor to get back to being a top 10 team like we've been seeing the past two, three years. Uh, so the next interesting thing to see what happens with Rule and Baylor is does he actually keep any of those assistants and what is his scheme offensively? Uh, with Baylor, does he want to keep what Baylor is somewhat perfected with the Art Briles system of that spread offense, up tempo, going 10, 12 seconds the next play, or is he going to want to switch it up to do what he did at Temple, where it was still a spread offense, somewhat up tempo, but you know, not of course as as fast as Baylor when they can run it uh, as fast as they can. So, what is he going to do? And with the Baylor uh, assistants. You know, Phil Bennett, the defensive coordinator, I don't know how he still has a job. I think Baylor was just going to let him run it out. Uh, but for a guy that continues to give up 40-plus points against pretty good teams and even some sorry teams, how are you still a defensive coordinator year after year after year? I, I mean, he's not like he's, in, in, you know, pushed out NFL talent. Uh, it's not like he's uh, had successful defenses over and over again at Baylor. There really isn't ha hasn't been that much success with them, so I don't see Phil Bennett staying. It's whether Kendall Bryles, Baby Bryles, stays, and I, I doubt it. The name, if Matt Rule's smart, he, he completely clears house. He has to clear house. Baylor has to wipe out everything uh, from the Bryles and past. It, it's, it's all got to be gone. So it's interesting, but he did not uh, when he had his first little uh, interview. He didn't rule it out that he would keep some of them. That'll be interesting to see what he does there. Uh, now, even though I'm a TCU fan, I, I don't really like Baylor. I don't like him at all, actually. But I'm glad they actually finally made a smart athletic move that will help student athletes and these football players as they are young men, and some of them just kids, growing into young men. They have someone they could truly look up to and someone who's actually going to teach them good moral values and respect. So... Good job for Baylor hiring Matt Rule. Bears fans, calm down. You're not going to the Cotton Bowl next year. It's going to take some time. You are definitely rebuilding.